Hi everyone, I'm Kate Wu. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to paint this long tail broad bill. The inspiration was from observing this bird picking up a material for building a bird's nest. So let's get started. The majority of this bird is in green color with a blue long tail. So I'm going to mix the green. I'm using yellow color and, and blue to mix the green. Plus I'm going to add a little bit of orange color to create the dynamic shades of um, the main color. I've never painted this type of birds before, but I'm going to just give it a try. This type of bird is found in the Himalayas and northeastern India and Southeast Asia. Of course, I see it in the park. And the feature is this long blue tail. I think that's why part of the name is called the long tail. The head is black with a couple of patches of yellow on the side and the blue on top. The beak is in also kind of a greenish tone and yellow throat, green belly. I'm switching to just ink to paint the tree branch and the nest that was dangling down from the tree branch. I did not see the nest in the park, but um, I've looked up in the internet and find out that their nests are kind of like um, pear-shaped and um, dangling down, but they're a bit messy though. I don't think that this type of bird is very fussy about the um, the way they build in the nest or the material that they use. They just pick up whatever that's available, including some fine roots, creepers, mosses, dead leaves, and some other fibers, stingy vegetables. That's why I'm using a dry brush to add some textures to the nest. I suppose you can use some brown color for the nest because the of the use of the dry leaves and fibers and everything. But then I prefer to use ink for this painting because the bird is already colorful and it's kind of like green bluish tone. Now I'm painting the chicks. I'm using the yellow color and a bit of orange to paint this little diamond shape because most of the baby were just like opening the mouth for food and they were born blind when they were hatched. The long-tailed broadbill is a type of forest bird. So I'm gonna paint some leaves to make this painting a bit more dynamic. The leaves are mixed of yellow and blue to get the green and then add a bit of orange color like the way that I started with the um, the back of the birds, but just the proportion of the ink and the depth of the um, blue color is a little different. If you're already painting Chinese watercolor, you probably notice that after the paint is dry, then the color will be more pale. It looks like it's it fades away, but then after you mounted it, then you'll see the vibrant color again. What I'm doing is I'm adding some veins of the leaves using just orange color. Now I'm finishing the birds with eyes. Sorry I forgot to turn on the camera when I finished the lick. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. If you're new to my channel and like to see more demonstration, please subscribe and press the bell notification button so that you don't miss out the new updates. I'll see you next time.